I'm heading down to the Chesapeake Bay this weekend because a good friend of mine is graduating from acupuncture school. And she's got a lot of Aquarius in her. Aquarius South Node, Aquarius Rising. So she didn't want anything fancy. You know, Aquarians are all about friends. So we're doing a little fun by the bay with oysters and hot dogs, hamburgers. I wasn't sure what to make. And then I thought about Aquarius and thought about all the people coming and said, my Sicilian eggplant campanata will be perfect. And I'll tell you why. But first, you need to put a little bit of oil, about a half a cup, in your frying pan. Get that warmed up. And I've chopped up about six or seven cloves of garlic. The more garlic, the more spice, right? So just watch it. It's going to sizzle a little bit. Get the flavor of the garlic infused in the oil. Okay, so everything's going to get that nice garlic flavor. We're going to put the garlic back in later. But this is just to give a nice base to the oil. Okay, let that go for a few minutes. And then just as it starts to brown, we want to take it out of there. Once you get the garlic out, it's time to add the onions. I've got about two and a half medium-sized onions sliced up here. Now you could go crazy with onions. You could put them in for a good 30 minutes, throw a little sugar on top, make them go low and slow, and they get beautifully caramelized. It's not necessary for campanata, but you can really, really make onions sweet the longer you cook them low and slow. For this, about eight, nine minutes just to get brown, just to get that garlic flavor infused in them, and they'll be ready to uh, meet the other members of the campanata, if you will. The reason I'm doing campanata is, you know, Aquarians are a little bit, how shall we say, high strung. Their energy is a little bit different from everybody else. Remember, the uh, planet that controls them spins on its side around the sun. So they're a little bit different, and sometimes all that energy can mess up the arterial flow. So with the tomato sauce we're using, with the olives that we're gonna put in, all of those things are great for the blood flow. And this is why this is really good for the Aquarius. Now, the recipe calls for green peppers, but for goodness sakes, I went to the store and look at these, they're beautiful. So I've got about three I've got the reds, the orange, the yellows. This is going to add a lot of depth to the dish. Then you put in about two stalks of celery. Again, these are all diced up nicely. I like the peppers in long strips better because it makes it a prettier presentation. Okay, get them all blended in. And you add about a teaspoon of salt. I like kosher salt myself and freshly ground black pepper. I like the freshly ground stuff. It tastes much better. When this is all incorporated, it's time for the star of the show, the eggplant. Now you want to put this in carefully because it has to cook down. If you're an air sign or an impatient uh, patient person, you know, Aries, I'm not naming any names, you're going to have to take this slow. Don't rush this because the, the eggplant has to get nice and soft. It has to get all incorporated into the dish. Okay, so a little bit at a time. You may have to add a little bit more oil because eggplant soaks things up and one of the things it soaks up is oil. So if it looks like it's getting a little too dry, throw in a little bit more. Because again, there's a lot in here. We're cooking for a lot. You know, Aquarians have to have thousands of friends. It's all about friendship with them. Commitment and, you know, settling down, no. But friends, they're great at. This is a good 15 minute process until everything is nice. The eggplant is soft, not mushy. The peppers have a nice, like a blaze to them. And it's ready to go and get the tomatoes and the olives and put the final touches on it. And this dish is great for air signs because you love to entertain and have lots of people over, but you don't always have the patience to sit and keep working this. There is a way around that. You can put all of this in a big roasting pan and put it in a low oven, about 250, and let it go for about 20 minutes. You'll get the same effect. Just remember to set a timer because you Geminis will be off reading a book and you'll forget about it. Mm. Now it's time for the really fun stuff. This is about two cups of regular old tomato sauce. You know, I make a ton of it, you know, on a cold winter day and just freeze it. It's regular tomato sauce. If you're in a bind, go buy some. You know, it's always going to really kill you if you don't make your own tomato sauce. Mix that all in. 
And now because we're working on the Aquarius and their arterial system, those healthy olives, just pour them all in, they're wonderful. I've had people who don't like the uh, pimento in the middle, get whatever you want. I've even made this with like the ones with the garlic in the center. It adds a completely different taste, it's really strong, but if you're into that, it's really good. You know, play with your food. I say in the book that I just wish I could do a cookbook that says, here are all the ingredients, go have fun. Now you need a little tomato paste. I love tomato paste in a tube. It, you will never go back to the canned stuff once you do this. The flavor is just wonderful. I'm a tomato freak, so I add quite a bit, but again, it's to your taste. You got a lot in here. The body, the texture, you just can't beat this stuff. Now, the balsamic vinegar. Now, a little bit, about a half a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. I know, where were we before balsamic, right? But I remember my aunts making this with regular old apple cider vinegar, but the balsamic does make a little bit of a kick here. And now, for the secret ingredient, chocolate. Take a little square of unsweetened or semi-sweet. You don't want the sweet stuff because it really... And just put it in there and let it cook away. It will melt in and everybody's going to say, what is that? What is that flavor? You can say, I don't know what you're talking about. It's just vegetables. It's the chocolate. It's the chocolate. That's a Scorpio thing. You know, I'm a Scorpio son. We like secrets. That's my little secret. I'm hiding the chocolate in there. And then... You top it off. Now a little bit of my herbs, some rosemary, some oregano. I've got these from the garden. I dried them last winter. Just sprinkle them on and you know, taste it. When it's all done, you may need a little bit more. Put this cook down for another few minutes. Make sure the chocolate's all melted. Keep the heat low at this point because you don't want that to start sticking. And you're ready to go. And you know, the best thing about this is I will just stick it in a nice container and it's best at room temperature. So when I get to the bay, it'll be perfect. It's about an hour and a half drive. I don't like it cold. People serve campanata cold from the refrigerator. I like it room temperature. But again, try it. You may like it cold. It'll be ready to go. And just before I serve it, I'm going to sprinkle a little fresh basil on it. I don't want to do that now because the basil will get wilted in the heat. But when it's at room temperature, a little fresh basil, with the, with the yellows, with the reds. It'll make a beautiful presentation. It'll go great with the burgers. And my Aquarian friend will be healthy and she won't even know it. Okay, now the garlic goes back in. This way it won't burn. Mix it up. And it's ready to serve when it gets to room temperature. Oh, there's the doorbell. My friends are here to pick me up to go to the bay. If you want to know how to be an astrological cook, how to get your foodie chart done, how to host your astrological dinner party, check out my book, check out my website. Play with your food and play with your stars. Cheers, everybody.